Good morning, it's March 26th, it is Thursday, and today for reading, you are going to be on willbooks.com reading Too Many Animals on a Raft. After the book, uh, your child will be asking the question, what was your favorite part? So making sure that they are really paying attention in the book. They'll be able to say what their favorite part was if they were. Um, something to note, parents, if they say their favorite part is just one of the pictures, and it doesn't really have to do what actually happened in the book. I want you to have a conversation with them about that or have them read the book again or listen to you read the book so that they really grasp what's happening in the book versus just looking at the pictures and not really understanding what is happening. In language, you're doing ABC order. Um, this is something that kids do in class a lot. So they have a group of words that are misordered and they need to do it in alphabetical order, one being A, five being Z. Um, in class, your child has a name tag that has the alphabet across it and that's what they use to look at the ABC order to be able to help them put this into the correct order. So at home, I highly, highly, highly suggest writing the alphabet along the bottom here, A to Z or writing it on another paper somewhere for them to look at to be able to refer to that while they're going through. And a lot of them really need that. And that's on the front and the back. So lots of different ABC order activities, alphabetical order. And then in math, you have bar graphs again. So you're looking at the information. It's basically exactly what the students did yesterday. So being able uh, to look at the information and answer the questions. The back page is a little different. Instead, it is just giving one picture of what the group is with circle dots for how much it is. So that would be a little bit different, a little trickier for them to understand how many of each one. So just making sure you note that with them. Um, I think a really fun activity that you and your child could do at home with math if you want to take it a step further and challenge them is finding groups of the same thing at home and laying them out on a table and making your own bar graph to show how many of the items and organizing them like kind of mix them up all over the paper sorry all over the table like say like six markers and then order them in the different colors or say it was markers and pencils and maybe do a bar graph that's markers versus pencils to kind of have them understand that you're graphing groups of items to be able to see things clearly. In writing, they have the writing prompt, the best thing about school is, this can be something that they are thinking of in the classroom, what their favorite part of is school in the classroom or at home. Either one is fine. So what is their favorite thing about school at home or in the classroom? For science, they have four seasons if you haven't done this page yet. And the four seasons are down here and they need to match them to the one that they think matches it the best. Um, before we were learning at home, distant learning, we were learning a lot about spring in class. So the kids should be able to really identify spring and then if they need help with the other seasons, then obviously you can be helping them with that. But I do think that most of the time the kids are pretty good with their four seasons. Another kind of at-home activity you could do is have them go outside and try to find reasons why it is spring, because it is spring now. So that is about it for today. Thank you so much. And as always, you can email me if you have any questions. All right, bye.